This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is DC Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers that come on here with the energy delivering all that fight. You know, fight for our Second Amendment stuff. So I appreciate that. Now, you know, we've been having a discussion talking about these social media platforms, rolling out all these, you know, policies and stuff like that. Now, uh, you know, I've been up here talking about it for a while. The new policy that took in place, you know, a lot of us, you know, feel some sign of relief. You know, we still here and stuff. But the problem is, do not get comfortable. Like I said before, you got to look at the long term. Now, you know, I know a lot of people say, well, dang, you know, this supposed to happen. That's supposed to happen. I ain't seen nothing. Ain't nothing happened. But see, the problem is, you're not going to see it coming. And that's what's the reason why I keep telling people, prepare, prepare, prepare. Go over there and sign up on um, GunStreamer. Go in there. I'm over there on GunStreamer, DC Channel Guns. I'm over there. Go over there and subscribe to me over there. That is my home where I would be posting my other videos and stuff if they want to silence me. But what I'm telling y'all now, YouTube just wrote out some more policies. Now they're talking about, you know, when it comes to, you know, like, I guess, bullying up here on the social media platform, harassment, you know, talking about gender, race, all kinds of stuff. You know, you know, you have a lot of us, you know, we like to talk about self-defense. We like to talk, do gun reviews, you know, just talk about different things. I'm just specifically uh, focused on gun channels right now. Now, some of the policies that, you know, you can see on your screen right now. Now, you two have put these policy here that you're looking at. I'm going to let it sit up there for a while so a lot of us can really, you know, actually get a chance to see it. But, you know, some of these words and stuff up here kind of bothers me a little bit because, you know, now YouTube is talking about, you know, when it comes to, you know, suggesting threats or, you know, suggesting something that can cause bodily harm and all this kind of stuff. And they have a whole list of words that they're spreading out on the different little section of policies that they've been putting out and everything. And, you know, what I'm, what I'm bothered about is, you know, if we up here talking about some type of self-defense ammo or whatever, or, or some type of gun or whatever, you know, is this something that they're setting to say, hey, we violate the policy to try to get rid of us? So, like I said, a lot of the words are very vague and stuff like that. They also put some things in there pretty much talking about, you know, talking about YouTube public figures or whatever that's supposed to be and talking about, you know, I guess politicians, you know, when it comes to the anti-gun, we like to suggest talk about people such as Bloomberg and all these people who are trying to take our gun rights, gun rights away from us and trying to, you know, force all these laws down our throat, the law abiding citizen. So, you know, if they're trying to stop that from happening, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if Bloomberg threw some money in the pot when it comes to the suit and, the suit and tie guy with these social media platforms. Because like I said, you know, just because, you know, you're still here, it doesn't mean nothing yet because, like I said, the long term, they're still rolling out policies. They're still going to. And then they suggested that they're going to be rolling out new policies up here for the next three months or so, probably for the rest of the, all the next year and all the next year. So we don't know what they're going to roll out. And, you know, they're trying to make this, you know, pretty much this safe environment on their platform now. And, you know, they're coming to the point they don't want no extreme content up here. Ultimately, I don't care if you just, you know, just reviewing a farm or whatever the case may be. You know, we don't know what they were extreme content. You know, we don't know what is their guideline when it comes to extreme content because, you know, are they going to just lay it out? Hey, they don't want us to review this and talk about this. We don't really know. So that's why I say prepare yourself, people. Don't get caught <laughs> with your pants down pretty much. You know, don't let them do that to you because I'm telling you, it is not good. Some of the patriots has been caught with their pants down. And, and and I'm telling you, once it happened, it's too late. And, you know, a lot of us done got comfortable. You know, a lot of us got this macho attitude. You know, they're not, we're not going to worry about And And majority of us are worrying about it. I'm talking about you can say what you want to up here on the videos and everything. I'm worrying about it. I'm just saying I'm not going to let it affect the content that I'm creating. But I'm not worried about it because I feel like this is a community. We're on these social media platforms to reach each other, to communicate, to let us know what's going on. And, you know, you have these social media platforms trying to cut us off and leave a lot of us in the dark. You know, some of us don't have access um, to cable and all this kind of stuff. You know, we have access to the Internet, but we might not have access to what's going on in our state. See, when you're in a state that it's a lot of stuff going on, you might not get no coverage from that part of the town, that city. So you have your fellow patriots who could communicate on your social media platform in a town that you don't know nothing about, but it's in your state to let you know what they're going through. And like I said before, that's the reason why you have to find another platform to keep voicing your opinion, keep speaking out. That's why I suggest people go to GunStreamer. It's, 
it's huge. I'm gonna be making a video talking about even more uh, a more of a priority. The reason why we need to, you know, go to another platform and and, and grow that platform and get that platform very active because you already have pages over there very active over there. I'm active. I'm going watching people videos on gun streamer and stuff like that. So I'm subscribing. I'm finding people that's over here. I'm trying to subscribe to everybody I know so I can keep in good communication with everybody. Know what everybody doing. So that's what you need to do. Your goal is to go on gun streamer and find everybody that you know, all you subscribe, you know, just subscribe to everybody so we all can stay in the loop what's going on. So that's what it's all about. Fight for our second amendment over here. So just want to bring you some of that, that little taste of news. So this is DC Channel Guns and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.